Well, welcome back. You ever wondered what happens to all that paper you recycle? Well, Chemical Kim is here to show us the science behind recycling and making paper. Like I was saying, I actually made paper when I was in elementary school. It was kind of a long process, like during our art class, but definitely a cool project. Oh, very cool. Very yeah. cool. And it's not that long. It's not that complicating. It's very simple to make paper. <laughs> well, it's because I was so, doing it. That's why. <laughs> exactly. And this, this activity is not only fun about making paper, but I'm going to kick it up a notch a little bit, and we're going to make color changing paper. I love paper. that. Love so it. So there's always science behind yeah, everything, right? Yeah, very cool. And can you smell that, Tara? Yeah, it's and everyone that rich home, aroma smells like, so good. Oh, scratch their good. screen at home and smell because it's such a great smell. Yeah. What I have here is red cabbage juice. Yeah, that's what and smells I've, so good. Yeah, and red cabbage will actually do a color change if it goes into an acid environment like vinegar. So here, I'm going to have you squirt okay. a few drops of this. Just squirt that right into the vinegar okay. and see what happens. Oh, it's turned pink. It turns pink. Okay, yep. and then take a few drops and drop it into, this is Windex, which is a basic environment. Okay. And see the color change that takes place. Look at oh, that. Nice green. Okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So taking that application and making paper to make this color changing paper is what I'm going to show you. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So anyway, what what I have already have put into the blender is some paper that is already blended and chopped up. I'm going to show this process. So you're going to take a few sheets of paper. That smells so Doesn't bad. Doesn't that smell so, so good? bad? <laughs> oh, kids are going to love it. Oh yeah, right? of course. They're going to love it. You know you're doing science when you have yeah. some. Yeah. You want me to rip this you know, up? Yep. You're just going to rip up paper. Paper contains cellulose. This is from plant material, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Trees, of course. And cellulose is a really, really large molecule. And um, it likes itself, but it also likes water, but water won't dissolve it. Okay. But what you notice when water gets wet, or when, when paper gets wet, what do you notice about paper when it gets wet? Kind of crinkles up a little bit and... It's all mushy? Yeah. Okay, that's because cellulose likes water more than it likes itself. So it breaks up really easily, but it won't dissolve. Okay. Okay, so all we were doing, all I did was I just, you know, took a few pieces of paper and then put some cabbage juice with it, and then we're blending it. Okay. Okay, and we're making a pulp. So we're breaking up that cellulose into the, you know, separate fibers, and it has an attraction for water, but it's not dissolved in water. You can go ahead and turn it off. Okay, and so then... Hopefully they heard us yelling. We were yeah, just yelling. Yeah, I'll just yell. <laughs> Ah, we were actually singing. Yeah. Like a new science song. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Okay. <laughs> and so then what we have here, and I'll let you, well, I'll put my hands in it because, okay. you know, it's the <laughs> smell. You do that? It's the smell. Right, look at this, Tara. I have a piece of paper. Do you see that piece of paper? No. No. No, of course not, because the cellulose has, has separated in the water. Okay. Okay. What's really, really unique about this substance that comes from plant material, of course, is that oh, when it that. dries, when it dries, when the water starts to leave it, it actually then has an attraction back for itself. Oh, how cool. And the fibers then bond together. It's very, Where did you very get simple. these things at? Oh, this oh. is just old screen. I just, you know, I had okay. a door that... You know, one of my pets kept going through and breaking, and I thought, so if you have oh, an old screen, my that's gosh, what you want to do. we can yeah. make color-changing paper, kids. Look Good. at that. So, um, you know, I just took the, the old screen and took that out. Okay, so you just so press that. Just press kind of out the water. Drain the water out of it, okay. Because to make the paper, you need to remove the water in order for the cellulose to bond together. Because with the water, the cellulose would rather be attracted to the water than itself. Okay. But then with the removal of water you have then the cellulose bonding oh, cool. and really really simple you have paper now of course this is still wet it's so wet yeah and you could let this dry even longer but you can already see it probably doesn't take very long to dry either no not at all yeah. you can use a blow dryer we already have paper yeah and then this comes to the color changing paper tear which is the fun cool. part yes fun you part. take yours i'll take mine okay smell it now smell the paper the smell no, still there nope it's gone exactly oh, so good. you have oh, no good. <laughs> Instead of having to, you know, have the cabbage yeah. juice in the kitchen, you can have the color changing. Okay. And go around at home and test different substances to see if it's acid or base. Okay. So you put a few squirts onto your paper. Okay, a couple and seconds I'll put left, some so. Exactly. I'll put some on mine. And look at that. Look how that changes to pink and green. How cool. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I love that. How fun is that? Oh, very cool. So we can try different, different things at home. Chemical very fun. Can, you rock, dude. I love it. Oh, you rocked here. <laughs> Thanks for being here. We can find more fun activities from Chemical Kim on our website at wzzm13.com. Just click on those Take 5 links.